Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable video. Hey you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Star Stable videos. Alright you guys, it's time to guess what time it is. It is time for next up in Jorvik. I might be a little bit late to making this video by like a day, but that's fine. But there's something in this video that I haven't seen people talk about yet. I don't know if I'm just on the wrong side of Instagram or something, but I haven't seen anyone comment on what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm kind of excited to share that with you guys. Let's get into it though. So if you guys didn't know, on Instagram, I think as well as Twitter, possibly Facebook, I didn't look at their Facebook, Star Stable shares the next up in it, Jorvik, uh, whatever it's called. It's like a little, I have no idea what it's called, like next up map or something, but they post it and I wanted to talk about it today. So the first thing we have is Midsummer, and obviously we've already got that. Our Midsummer celebrations are almost here. Let's welcome Summer with the help of the Jorvik Rangers. And I like to zoom in with the pictures, but there doesn't seem to be too many interesting things in this picture. And plus we already know what's happened at Midsummer anyways. Next up, the thing that I'm excited to talk about is actually riding club updates we're making it a little easier to manage your riding clubs not part of a riding club now is the perfect time to join now before we do anything else before we do any more reading i want to jump over to the riding hall because when we got the silver glade revamp a lot of people commented on the fact that they we've actually got some terrain changes by the riding hall and Believe it or not, I haven't actually been to the riding hall because I haven't done training in ages. Properly training uh, because training takes like three hours and that's too long when you have school and stuff. Now coming from what I'm going to talk about, I'm just not too sure whether this terrain changes over here is going to have anything to do. Whoa, this looks so steep. Have they even changed this? Cause this looks so steep or something. This looks crazy. I'm not sure if we're gonna actually have any changes here yet and whether this would even do with riding clubs because the riding hall doesn't necessarily mean riding clubs because not every riding club is a dressage club or like a show jumping club whatever you do in the riding hall so personally i don't think it's really gonna have too much difference here as of yet but obviously we can tell that they are working on something but the thing that I noticed about this picture is if we zoomed in, you can actually read this very blurred welcome to Star Staple in this update section. So I haven't fully read it yet. I tried to read little snippets because I was trying to decide whether translating it first was going to be better or whether I should get my reaction on camera. So let me try and read this out. Please don't mind me. Like... I'm gonna try my hardest. So it says, welcome to Star Stable. In this update, we've done some quality of life changes for riding clubs, as well as updating the visuals of the riding club window. As a club leader, you are now able to uh, delegate <laughs> responsibilities between club members, such as being able to invite others to a club or editing the club calendar. And I really like that because one thing that was always kind of like annoying was you could have like a club leader who you wanted to add like you wanted to give them the power to add other people so the owner doesn't always have to be online so i think that's definitely like a it's kind of like a small change but it's obviously really awesome you can oh uh, you can find a new tab in the writing club window where you can choose permissions for each role be sure to only give permissions to someone you trust, which is definitely true. Don't just go giving it to anyone, even if you think you know them. Like, honestly, people will deceive you. They will deceive you. You are now a also able to send mail to the entire club from the writing club window, as long as the club role you have has the permission to do so. That's what it says, and also, honestly, that really excites me. Um, I think for clubs who use Discord and Instagram, uh, and that's a recommendation, like not a requirement, like you have to have Discord or Instagram, it's obviously not as big of a deal as those who run solely off of Star Stable, but I also don't think that a club should have Discord. I think Star it's awesome that Star Stable is making it more centered for also just star stable because obviously i don't think star stable should be promoting uh the use of things like discord because i know that discord is basically an unmoderated space 
you can join a server and the server has no requirement it doesn't have to moderate what people say what people do obviously they probably have their general laws and things like that and obviously you have to be over 13 i think the age is so they probably still have some sort of copper laws maybe i'm not too sure but it still is something that star stable can't control and it would be so annoying for star stable to have people coming at them being like someone on my star stable discord server is being mean to me and star stable has to say we have no control over that they can't help with that so i think it's really awesome that they're bringing in the ability to be able to mail the entire club that's i really dislike the way that the mail system actually works in star stable personal preference i just find it really annoying um which is why i don't respond to my mailbox because either you send a message and it gets sent back to you because something was incorrect like they didn't like you saying a word or you type out this entire message and you send it and then the receiver's mailbox is full that's also a really annoying one also just the typing sometimes i'm not sure if that's just a me problem but i type quickly and then i look up and my message like star stable hasn't registered all of the keys that i've typed so i haven't actually tested that lately because as i said mailbox do not really like it so if you want to get in contact with me instagram is probably the place to go most of the time let's move on though we have the percheron percheron i'm not too sure how to say it but it says france's beloved gentle giant the percheron has a history as rich and storied as the lands from which it rose to fame now this wonderful horse is on its way to jorvik and i am really excited for these horses from what i can tell their coats look beautiful beautiful dapples and i love the detail that i can see so far so far i can't speak i'm sorry i just got home from school and i'm very tired from school lately and other stuff but yeah the detail the manes look amazing i am so excited i actually want to google the percherons I'm not one to actually know a lot about horse breeds in real life. I literally learn stuff from Star Stable. All I've read is someone called them a draft breed. So I think they are a draft breed. They look awesome. They look so much chunk. Like this one looks so much like chunkier than what they do in the picture. In the picture, I feel like they probably more look like this. I'm not sure. I'm, I find it really interesting that they announced the Percheron on their roadmap that's what it's called the update roadmap compared to posting a separate picture we've obviously had a picture a little while back for the dragon horses coming on the august 11th but we didn't get any separate picture of the percheron so this is all i have to go off right now but i'm loving the coat colors already i'm excited to see the animations draft horses aren't my favorite but these horses don't look like they're super super drafty i'm not sure i cannot make any comments on them until i see them in the game or at least the trailer moving along we have new maya quest one of our favorite Yorvegians, maya jew gets her very own horse join her on a quest as she bonds with her new companion and i'm really excited about this because new quest also i i, I literally have no much not much information on maya i can't really remember the last quest we did with her is that she is Maya from Moorland. I've got no idea what I'm saying, but let me know in the comments below what you think this means. I'm I honestly don't think it part of me is like, does it have something more important? Does it connect to story quest? But honestly, I don't think it really does. Because I think it's just one of the random quests that they bring out, but I could also be wrong. I'm not sure. Maya had, did Maya have something to do with the story quest? I can't even remember. I know that Derek, I think, has had something to do with the story quest. But maybe this means something in the future, you know, Maya getting more involved with stuff because she has a horse. And finally, we've got the Yorvik Stables open house. The open house is here again. Visit the beautiful open house arena, get new gear, and participate in limited time races. Plus, a brand new Arabian variation joins the festivities. Now, I'm I zoomed in on the picture, and it doesn't look like we've got any like sneak peeks in the picture this time. I'm not even sure if Star Stable meant for there to be sneak peek in that picture that we could 
just read but I was like that's a Lusitano it's not like the new Arabian or anything from what I can remember we haven't had anything on a new Arabian coat released to us and I know you guys are going to be like the spoilers the spoilers I don't personally I, I dislike spoilers I find them really disappointing I like to only trust what Star Stable is telling us because I know how easy it can be for people to be like I'm so excited for this new breed to come to the game or the new coat colors and then star stable doesn't release them and people get so mad when honestly star stable didn't even say they were going to release them so i don't think it's star stable's fault for not releasing them that's my own opinion though but other than that i don't have too much else to say i'm trying to scroll back there we go I'm really excited for Yorvik Stables open house though. I do like the open house. It brings me new races. It brings limited time clothes, I think, and also horses. So I love myself a buying horses video. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think about the future of this month's updates in the comments below i would love to read them this is also not my only video for today i uploaded a video a few hours ago which was titled what am i what am i gonna title it star stable items i bought but never wore until now so i'm gonna be going through my closet and finding some clothes that i bought in one of my many shopping sprees and i'm gonna make an outfit with uh, like two of them i think Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you guys are enjoying Midsummer or something. Make sure if you're still watching the video to click that like button and also subscribe because there's a free ways of supporting me. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye! No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. Think about you, about you all the time